We're about to introduce you to a man who believes he is part of the solution. He was recruited from Detroit, another place that knows a thing or two about violence. He works for the city of Toronto now, but he's no ordinary employee. He wears a bulletproof vest, but he's not a cop. The CBC's Ioana Romiliota spent time with him last night as he hit the streets. It's dark, it's dangerous, and it's why they're here. It's not a no big drug sweep or something like that. We're just out here doing things differently. Yeah. These are special constables with Toronto's Community Housing Corporation. Try to get invited to dinner if you can. And uh, this is their new boss. The From the I'm flak lying. jacket to the late night prowls, Gene Jones is all about being different. My name is Gene Jones. Yeah. I'm the new president and CEO oh. of TCAC. If there's any problems, call me. You have my card. You have my cell phone number. Oh, here, let me give you my card. Let me give you my card. Okay, no cameras, just give him my card. Jones has been cleaning up social housing complexes in cities like Detroit and Los Angeles for nearly 30 years by doing the unexpected. But the young do you come at night? Because I got to see what's going on. I got to see any criminal activity, who's coming in, who shouldn't be here. And by expecting the worst. Why do you wear a flak jacket? I'm not stupid, okay? But I know if I have to go somewhere, if there's an emergency call and I have to go somewhere else, I just want to be prepared when I go over there. Gunfire is not uncommon in Canada's largest social housing complex. How you doing? Gene Jones. You live here? Yeah. Where? Just moved in over there. Oh, good? How do you like it? It's all right. This teenager is afraid of getting shot again. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was shot on Victoria's Day, so... You were shot? Yeah, Victoria Day. Um, down in the west end near my dad's neighborhood. But still never don't know who it is and stuff. But yeah, it makes me know that there's actually people out here actually you know, caring and trying to find out what's going on in the streets and stuff. Only one month on the job, Jones walked into an unprecedented crisis. The mass shooting at a social housing block Monday that killed two people and wounded 23 others, including a baby. And there have been two other deadly shootings in other sites in the last two days alone. But have you ever seen anything or encountered anything like that in Detroit or anywhere else in the U.S.? Nothing like that in, in any social housing, public housing in, in the United States. N nothing of that magnitude. There may be two or three shootings, maybe one person killed or anything, but, but not 25 people being shot, trampled on, and, and two, two, two individuals being killed. It's unprecedented. Right, and it's bad. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. bad. Especially for the kids, is mm -hmm. no, I agree. Jones says the gun culture here them reminds them him of the U.S. So does what he's outside. hearing tonight. People, bad people come from outside. Mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Some of them here have a connection, not all of them. You guys don't want to talk? Are you guys having a party? A lot of these kids come out here. They don't live here. They threaten the, the resident who lives there because they want to be a part of this neighborhood and do bad things for us. And so we just keep track of that. When you don't want to have your picture taken, then, then that's a red flag for us. So you're going to come back? Mm-hmm. No, it's camera. No, no cameras? Oh, the bashful. No okay, that's fine. How are you, fine. sweetie? Here, just give her my card. <laughs> a few minutes later, another red flag. Look, look. So see, if you don't come out at night, we'll never catch anything. You know, like that unit we just passed, a lot of young kids in there. It may not be nothing, but we need to check it out. But what we're going to start doing is not only we're going to stay here and leave, pretend like we leave, we're going to come back. Maybe not tonight, but that we, we're going to start coming back. We'll come here, go, and then come back. Then we'll just, just wreck up their happy home. You guys okay? Nice. Yes. Alex. You guys have enough things to do right here at night? Yeah. Or do you guys just sit around? People who want to take advantage of our kids, especially these former prisoners who are trying to come back to our developments, trying to recruit these young kids, that's what we need to start identifying. The immediate strategy is to call police. This is what takes longer. I've seen guns. I've seen knives. Last summer, the SWAT team busted in the door over here. You can be anonymous. You don't have to give you your name. Call us. You can and, call and this anonymous. is why we're here now? Yeah. The new CEO wants to promote, and he doesn't want the residents to be afraid to call anymore. But the wall of silence doesn't come down so easily. Afraid to speak up. The drugs, the weapons. Everyone's afraid that it's going to come back on them. Jones says that's typical at first. But his strategy has been successful in the U.S. cities he's worked in. The word is going to get out. And what does the word do? It helps them, it gives them confidence, and it gives them reassurance that we're out here for them and not for ourselves. That's what it gives them. How does it keep a shooting from happening? 
we, 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 can't keep, we can't keep it from happening. We can just find what those red, red flags come up. That's the story that's never been told. We, we have deterred a lot of this crime, crime on our properties because of our intervention in the beginning. All right, any questions? And he says, this is today. just the beginning. Good, yeah. You know I'm no BS, right? Yes, sir. And I'm um, no procrastinator, correct? Yes, sir. All right. So good. Thank you very much, you guys. Appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you, Thank you. Thanks. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Toronto.